Hey everyone, Frozen Foxy here, and welcome back to something we haven't seen in a very long time. Welcome back to Fallout 3. Yes, we are going to finish this. I told you I would, and we definitely are. Just like we're going to finish everything else. I think last time we were about to, uh, to go investigate the Canterbury Commons, if I recall correctly. It has been a long, long time since I recorded any of this. I think it's probably been... I don't know, six months since I recorded any of this, so uh, don't mind me if I'm a little bit rusty at uh, all the things that um, one must Hello. do in this game. It's uh, It's been a very long time, but it doesn't matter because we are back and we're going to do this stuff. So let's... Uh, Let's go ahead and uh, head out towards the uh, Canterbury Commons and see what we can find out there. I have no idea what we're going to find out there. That looks kind of interesting. I wonder if that's on my map. I'm almost positive that I've investigated this before, but it's been so long, I can't remember. Let's check that out. Yeah, that's probably the relay tower. I don't know. You know what? I'm going to go check it out, because that's the kind of person I am. I'm going to go make sure this is a relay tower. And if it is, then, well, whatever. I sort of remember things. Like, radiation is bad. Wait. Aren't I supposed to know that already in, like, regular life? Hmm. Things mystify me right now. Have those clouds always been up there? I don't think I ever remember uh, really looking at those too closely. Yeah, this is looking really familiar, but I'm also pretty sure that I have seen lots and lots of things. Yep, yes indeed. This definitely looks quite familiar. I remember this place now. I remember it well. Alright, now, as I was saying at the beginning, Canterbury Commons. That might be it right over there. Not quite sure if it is or not, but uh, we'll see soon enough, eh? It's just me or Daddy. Hear my heart beating there for a second. I think uh, I think my Fallout 3 character may very well be out of shape for me uh, not uh, playing this game for so long. <sighs> oh my god, I can't do this anymore. Alright, we'll be at the Canterbury Commons soon. Trust me on this one. That's gotta be it. I am... I'm going in exactly the direction, more or less. That has to be the Canterbury Commons. Um, I apparently found a lair. Uh, this doesn't really look like a lair to me. Lair. Hmm. Is there like a entrance somewhere? Ah. Canterbury tunnels. Eh, we'll look at this later. See what that is. I have a feeling if it's uh, part of Canterbury, then we'll be coming back there soon enough. What was that? Hello? Is that... There's a whole bunch of ants in here. Um... The citizens of this town have nothing to fear. The mechanist is here to protect them. Ha! We'll see about that. Attack my ant soldiers. Destroy this fool and his tin toys. Go forward, Whoa, um, I, I think I'm just gonna get out of the middle of that. Face it, mechanist. Humans and their toys are done for. They I, I don't know about that, lady. 
Whoa! Humanity's creations were the seeds of their undoing. And now, the world will belong to the antagonizer! Not while the world is... Um, okay. Are you alright? You aren't hurt, are you? No. I'd like to apologize for the rude welcome. Those two have been a bit of a problem lately. Name's Roe. Uncle Roe to most. Welcome to Canterbury Commons. For what that's worth. Uh, what the hell was that all about, anyway? Who were those people? They were kind of weird. The, um, Mechanist and the Ant Agonizer. That's just what they call themselves. It's I think I found her I lair. A while ago, we were attacked by the Ant Agonizer. That woman with the ants, obviously. The Mechanist saved the town with his robots. Well, that was all well and good, but I swear their fights are getting bigger, and it's been driving off the merchants. They simply won't leave. Well, that blows... You know, I thought the merchants were supposed to actually come through this place all the time. So, I won't be able to find the merchants that I was looking for the last time if I don't do something to fix this situation. Maybe that's why I haven't been finding the uh, the merchants, is because they've been getting kind of lost, because the uh, antagonizer and the mechanist have been, like, assholes and stuff. So, you know what? I might very well be able to help you. Oh, that's terrific! I knew you'd help out. Knew it in my gut, and it's never steered me wrong on a deal yet. Find where the Ant Agonizer and the Mechanist hide, and convince them to stop or otherwise end their hostility, and you'll earn 200 caps. You only need to stop one of them, really. Nowadays, I think they only stay in Canterbury to fight each other. Cool. Um, how about you double that and you got yourself a deal? Hmm, you drive a hard bargain, friend. But seeing how we haven't been able to solve the problem ourselves, fine. You've got a deal. But I expect results. Oh, and please do try to use some discretion. We already have plenty of would-be heroes starting wars in our streets. We don't need another. Well, I mean, I could have killed them all, but, uh... I didn't know what was going on, so... I, I decided to stand back a little bit. I was about to shoot the ants. I didn't even notice the robots until later on, and those probably would have, uh gotten pretty dangerous if those had come after me and I wouldn't have liked that but you know I didn't do anything and it probably was uh, a good idea anyway can I ask you a little bit more about those two idiots if it'll help I'm glad to uh, what can you tell me about the antagonizer one day there was a crazy woman leading a bunch of ants into town she said humanity was dead and the ants would inherit the earth stuff like that well, that gave Dom plenty of time to line up a shot or two on the ants. She ran away, but every once in a while she'd stage an attack again. She wasn't much of a threat then. In fact, she was sort of entertaining at first. Gave everyone in town something to talk about. But when the mechanists started fighting her, things got bad. Ants are easy to shoot, but add robots with lasers, and it got real nasty. I thought you said he saved the town, and then it got bad. I'm confused because you were telling me that it was all fine and dandy up until he started fighting her and then before you told me that it was not fine and dandy until he started fighting her and then it got... Okay, you know what? I don't care. Just, just tell me about the Mechanist. The Mechanist used to be our town mechanic, Scott Walensky. Quiet guy, but plenty fierce with a wrench and some solder. Guy used to take care of a robot that protected the town until it got torn up in one of the Ant Agonizer's lame little attacks. I guess he took it personal because he made a mechanical suit and called himself the Mechanist, said he would lead a robot army to fight her. Now he doesn't even respond to his name, and his robot army is more dangerous to the town than the ants ever were. Well, you know, either he knows Karis, or Karis is going to be really pissed at him for stealing the Mechanist's name. You have no idea what I'm talking about, do you? Whatever. Uh, do you know anything else that I could uh, use to stop them? My nephew Derek might know more about them. I swear it's all I can do to keep him from running into the fight whenever they come out. He might know more about where you can find them, but don't encourage the poor boy. He's had enough close calls. All right. All right. I won't do it. That's enough about them. I'll see what I can do. I most heartily agree. Um... Okay. Sure, whatever. Um, can I get some directions around this town? Glad to help, glad to help. 
Yeah, um, where do the caravans set up? When they're in town, you can find the caravan trader out front of the town. They say it's a good way to catch a visitor's eye. Hmm. Well, that's all I need to know for now. Enjoy! Uh, what else can you tell me about the Canterbury Commons, by the way? Ha! <laughs> Damn near everything, I suspect. I founded the place myself, and I'm the reason this place stays fat and happy. This is fat and happy? Looks like, uh, dirty and trashy. So why do the traders come through here? Because I asked them to, I suspect. I grew up in these trade caravans, known most of them my whole life. I founded this place with my sister Daisy back in the day. Perfect stop along the caravan circuit. Hmm. I, uh... I would think your name would be something else than Uncle Roe with uh, a sister like Daisy. You know, like, maybe Donald? At least the last name Duck. I don't know. Anyway, how do you, uh, how are the, huh, how organized are the traders around here anyhow? They're just small caravans that make rounds through the wastes, hawking their wares from Paradise Falls to Rivet City. They won't trade with anyone who's hit their friends, but that's about as organized as they get. Well, I've been thinking about shooting some of them, but, uh, this is probably a bad idea on my part. Have you, uh, thought about organizing the traders into a unified group by any chance? I had thought about it, but some of these wasteland traders, well, they aren't exactly the organizational type. It'd take a pretty savvy businessman to make it worth their while to work together. Frankly, I'm not sure even I'm up to the task. Uh-huh. That's, uh... It's really a shame, because I got all these caps and nowhere to spend them. That... That certainly is quite a lot of caps. Yeah, that yeah, it really is. It would be a shame for those to go to waste, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. I suppose I can call in a few favors with the caravans, talk with them about their inventory. Must keep the customers happy, right? So you right. just let me know what you'd like to see from the caravans, and I'll let them know what to focus on. Well, very nice. Very nice. I, uh, I like having a contact in the merchants. Let's see here. Weapons, armor, food, chems, miscellaneous, hmm. Let's talk about, uh, food and chems. Ah, uh, then you'll be wanting Doc Hoff, or the good doctor, as he prefers. He prescribes everything from a good meal to stim packs to things that'll make your brain get up and dance. He should expand his inventory, because, you know, he rarely carries buff out, and it would be really nice if he started carrying that. The good doctor's lab equipment isn't cheap. It'll cost about 200 caps for him to offer higher quality material. <laughs> 200 caps? Whatever. Just take it. Excellent. I'll send word to the good doctor right away. You better not be stealing my caps, because I will beat your face in. You watch. It will not be pretty. Anyway, um... I guess I can ask to expand his inventory further, but uh, enough about that for now. Sure thing. Interested in any of the other traders? Yeah, I think, uh... I think the miscellaneous goods would be kind of interesting to me. That'd be Crazy Wolfgang. He does repairs and general supplies, but he prefers to call himself a junk dealer. As he says, he's overjoyed to assist those who have a deep need for his... <laughs> junk. Wow. He's just like that. Says it catches people's attention. Yeah. As long as he doesn't stuff his junk somewhere. Um, can he offer a wider variety of junk? And not his junk, preferably? With an investment of about 200 caps, I'm sure he could improve the quality of his materials. Or at least offer more of them. Yeah, that's a good investment. Here, take it. Excellent. I'll see to it right away. Sure, why not? That's enough about the traders right now. All right, you're the boss. Ah, <sighs> anything to trade around here? You can usually find one of the trade caravans at the entrance to town. They come through every day or two. Other than them, Porter's always got food for sale down at the diner. Oh, it'd be nice if I could find someone to repair my stuff. I think, uh, if I remember correctly, my hat is pretty battered right now, and I could, uh, 
Use some repairs. Maybe you could do some repairs for me? We used to have a better mechanic, but that didn't work out so well. I'll see what I can do. Let me guess. His name was uh, The Mechanist? Yeah? No? Alright, I need to fix up this hat. Combat armor, probably. Um, I don't know if I had any combat armor sitting in my lockers back at home, but right now I don't care so much, so I'm just going to leave that alone. Thanks, dude. All right, I gotta get out of here. Good luck with those two troublemakers. Sure, why not? Let's put this thing away. I don't want to accidentally shoot someone in the face that uh, doesn't deserve a shooting. Well then, where's that hat? There it is. Been wanting to put this thing back on. I don't look good without a hat, you know. My Lucky Shades combat armor and pre-war hat. Oh yeah, looking good. Definitely looking good. I like it. Alright. Any ant meat? No? I can't search these? Fantastic. Love this place. Kind of dark around here. Alright. Alright. Where's that boy he was talking about? Ah, uh, you don't look like the boy that he was talking about. Hmm. That kid's gotta be around here somewhere, right? I don't know, maybe it's too late for that kid to be out. What time is it anyway? Let's see here. Yeah, it's like... 10 o'clock right now. Pretty late. Probably kids gone home. Evening. Sup? Newcomer to town, huh? Well, I'm Dominic Delasadro, and welcome to Canterbury Commons. Try to ignore the idiots in the costumes. Popular activities around town are trading, listening to row yap, and burying thieves in unmarked graves. Okay. Of course, we ran out of thieves to bury long ago. Saw to it myself. Might be a dead art. Unless you're planning on stealing anything. Hey! You shouldn't be insinuating things like that about me. But might I say, you have the roundest looking head I have ever seen in Fallout. It's, it totally could be a ball. I could punt it right across the waist for you. Just, um, stay still. Okay. You know, I wasn't, I wasn't planning on stealing anything, but, uh... If you threaten me too much more, I might. Sounds like a good plan. Keeps the traders happy that way. And it means Machete and I get to save on ammo. Machete? Dude, I saw that movie. That was, um... That was something, alright. That was a crazy movie. I don't know if I could deal with Machete in here. That guy would probably chop my skull in half. If he's actually in this town, I am just a little bit intimidated by that. But he might be screwed up by my uh, Deathclaw gauntlet, so don't tell him about that, because I might have to uh, go hand-to-hand -hand with him sometime. Anyway, what do you know about the Anagonizer and the uh, Mechanist? Bro hired you to put a stop to their shit, did he? Hmm. Guess he finally listened when I told him I haven't got the time to do it myself. Oh, yeah? It's easy enough to hide inside when those two square off, but they're only getting worse about it all. I, uh... I thought you had absolutely nothing to do, Mr. Roundhead, because there was no thieves in town. Whatever. What do you tell me about the Anagonizer? I don't know who she is, other than a crazy with an ant suit and a chip on her shoulder for humanity. She wasn't much trouble by herself, really. Her attacks were a joke. But at least stories of her kept some of the raiders at bay. If it helps, she was always attacking from the Warrens up north. Maybe you can find her ant nest in there. Yeah, I kind of already found her, but, you know, I'm just asking around for the hell of it. 